I got one of the questions from one subscriber and the question was what is meant by the working hours in the employment contract especially when we are talking about jobs contracts in Qatar what forms part of the working hours most of us we have a lot of controversies when it comes to working hours for example you may sign a contract of 12 hours but you don't know what is your rest time what is your prayer time and exactly what constitutes that the working hours because remember when we talk about the working hours there's a lot of things that may be done depending on the nature of the work that you do and what exactly you are doing the job the part of the work what is required of you to do so in this video we are going to try to see what constitutes the working hours according to the contract or according to the catalog let's say for example you are working 12 hours as your duty what should be your rest time what should be your prayer time in case you have to go for prayers what should be your eating time by the way the time moving from your accommodation to your workplace and from your workplace to your accommodation is it part of the working hours that is what we want to see that is what we want to understand such that you as the new person or the person that is coming or the person that is already in the country or that particular job that you're doing you should know exactly what is made by the working hours remember when we are talking about the working hours according to the catalog or according to the labor law in Qatar, the working hours the the time that is the time that is spent from moving from your accommodation to the work to the place to the place of work or from your accommodation to the workplace and from the workplace to your accommodation it is not part of the working hours it is not calculated as part of the working hours what we call the working hours as according to the labor law or according to the Qatar labor law the working hours are those workers that are those hours that are spent at work in this scenario we are going to look at situation what will constitute will be first of all we are going to look at the rest time in case you have to rest in case it is given to you that you have to rest then we are going to look at what you call the prayer time in case you have to go to have your prayers in case you have to have your meals your lunch your dinner is what constitutes what we call the working hours according to the law remember what does the law say about the working hours Remember all employees should have a working hours of not should have hours of rest should hours should have hours of meals should have hours of prayers which should not be less than 1 hour and more than 3 hours that is what is the the, the labor law says so what does it mean to you that in case in your job location or in case in your deployment area or deployment location wherever you may be posted for your work your prayer time in case you are to pray your meal times in case you are granted that opportunity to have it and what you talk about your meals time it should be between a duration of not less than one hour or not more than three hours that is why to some job location or some job posting that you're going to see they normally have to tell you that we shall give you hours break of two hours or one hour meaning that between that period of one hour that is given to you as the break it is where you're supposed to do whatever you have to do as the personal work if you're so lucky enough to some job posting, you may have a two hours break.
So many in that two hours break, you can do your personal work. But remember, if your job entitles you not to move away from that location, that means everything that should be done should be done within the location area. Or should be done at your job possibly. If, for example, you're going to have one meal, one hour of, of your break, your meal break, that means you'll have to have the an hour. But it does not guarantee you to move away from the location, to go somewhere else because you have an hour break. It will not. That's why I'm saying it will definitely depend on what kind of work you're doing. What role do you have to play at that job location or at that area of work? So meaning that, that hour that you're supposed to give in as your break should not be less than one hour and should not be more than three hours. That is according to the labor law. So hope I've tried to answer you right well. And hope I've tried to give you whatever that you are supposed to have. That, that interval breaks of prayer, of rest, and taking meals, we should not be more than, we should not be less than one hour, and more than three hours is what we call the working hours. Oh, those constitute of what we call the working hours. That is why to some job options you will see that they will say your total working hours will be 12 hours, but you will have two hours break or you will have one hour's break. So meaning that that one hour's break and the, the one hour's break given to you or the two hour's break, or break given to you constitute part of what we call the working hours. Hope I've tried to answer you well. Thank you so much for coming back to this channel. Remember, it's Mix from the Mix Creation. By the way, if it's your first time you come across this channel, please consider subscribing. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell because it will be the only way that we will be updated wherever we upload a new video. For returning subscribers and the new subscribers, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. By the way, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video.